Well, good morning. Um, Josh and I are going to start doing uh, something a little bit different to where we upload some short educational videos on our Facebook page and uh, the Brockman Farms website. And so the first one today is going to be about barn setup. Um, and, and you know, anytime throughout this, if you guys have something that you'd specifically like for us to cover, uh, you know, don't be shy and just shoot us a text message or comment on our Facebook and, and let us know if there's a topic you'd like for us to cover. Um, but this is, uh, this is our kids show barn and so I was just going to kind of show you the different kind of pin setups that we have. Um, on this side, these are the pins that we typically keep all of the white pigs in because they don't get any sun. Uh, we do have a built-in one in there right now, but um, this is our pin setup. Um, you can see that we have the water here on the end um, uh, with the feed trough and, and hopefully most of the time they'll like to go to the bathroom on this end. For some reason these this season are going on the other end uh, but but that's just kind of part of it um, on this side uh, we have pins that they can be inside or outside and i'll give you a better look at the outside pins josh might have to correct me but i think most of these pins are uh, are 12 by by five so this is a view of the outside pins here nothing real fancy and then one thing I want to show you while I'm on this side is, is we do have two different walking areas because some of them will get sour. So we have a grass area here. And then I'll show you the other side of the barn where we have some other dirt, um, dirt options. Here's our feeding table. Um, I do like to mix feed beforehand and, and we've talked about that on some other posts. Uh, but this is our feeding table. We do have uh, all of our feed and trash bags here. And then this is our uh, feed chart. And so this is where Josh write down, writes down rations. And then we also um, keep logs of any medications and, and shots that are given. Out here we have some more concrete pins. You'll see a few of these barrows are on straight concrete because they just uh, got castrated. And then over here on this other side, we have uh, pins that are uh, three quarters of the way dirt. Um, with, with the front half uh, being concrete with their huts. And then this is the, uh, this is the other pelleted walking area that we have uh, for the, the kind of weather that we have in the winter when it's really wet and rainy and it gets too muddy to walk outside, then we'll walk in this area here. Here's a closer view of, of the pens that we call our dirt pens. Um, we did uh, concrete the first probably quarter of it to put shavings on and to put their huts on for the middle or for the winter time. Um, we do have the waters at the back so that that all runs out on the end and then we have shade put up here because uh, we had one in here that was starting to get a little burnt. So uh, basically you know we think it's important to have um, several different kind of pen options depending on what kind of pigs you have on feed. Some of them are going to need uh, some some dirt options depending on you know hind leg and, and structure uh, and some of them you know are, are fine to be on on full concrete so i uh, just wanted to give you a little tour if you have any questions about uh, pin setup we will be covering some uh, temperature um, and, and stuff like that in barns later um, in another post but if you have something that you'd like for us to cover uh, just give us a shout and, and let us know and, and we hope to be doing about one of these a week so uh, hope to see you guys at the battle of the swine this weekend and appreciate you watching